This is Michael Popak, Legal AF. When you're Donald Trump and J.D. Vance, and you've lost the support of a Rupert Murdoch-owned media property, a newspaper called the New York Post in New York, with a new editorial by the editorial board that basically says that Donald Trump and J.D. Vance have lost the woman vote, can't afford to lose the woman vote, and in the battleground states where it matters, they're down by nine points, and that they should stop. This is the editorial board for the New York Post. I'll read it to you in a moment. Uh, a Rupert Murdoch control paper. Let's be clear, nothing goes through the New York Post or the editorial board or an editorial in there that's not ultimately approved by the Murdochs. And now the Murdochs have signaled to Donald Trump that he is in trouble. This is the headline. Trump and Vance need to woo women voters to win. Kind of an innocuous headline, but when you dive into the article, it basically says that they've spent their time um, rejecting women. They spent their time undermining women, making them a second-class citizen. And if they ever hope to win the election, they're going to have to reverse course in only three and a half months, which is almost an impossibility. They start with the numbers. They say that uh, empirically that uh, Kamala Harris is now up by nine points with women in the five major battleground states, Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Arizona. That's a plus nine for Kamala Harris. And she hasn't even gotten the bump from a convention nor from naming a vice president. And she's already up by nine points. Why does that matter? Because first of all, <laughs> women vote in large numbers. In fact, women outvote men year after year, ele a presidential election after presidential election. Even in registration, another point made by the New York Post article, women are up by seven and a half million votes. More women are registered to vote than men, and they vote more reliably, more, uh, I almost said religiously, than men do. And he's down already? Let's put it this way. Donald Trump off the best week, the apex, the peak of his campaign was coming off Butler, Pennsylvania, his convention, and a judge, a, a rogue judge down in Florida dismissing the Mar-a-Lago indictment. Since then, it's been Kamala Harris and the Democrats, and more importantly, women voicing their support of all hues in support of Kamala Harris and the and the uh, and the new Harris administration that would result. I mean, they already had, as the New York Post article editorial board noted, Trump Vance already had an uphill battle. Starting, if you can believe it, besides the fact that women are very concerned about electing again somebody who's already been a judge to be a rapist in the meantime, a misogynist, the access Hollywood tape in which he says he can regularly sexually abuse women and get away with it, that had already given them great concern. Add on, layer on to that, the Stormy Daniels hush money cover-up, the other Playboy playmates that he had relationships with while he was married, the other women who testified at the E. Jean Carroll case who said they too were sexually assaulted or abused by Donald Trump. So you have that layer. The next layer, of course, you have is you've got... Um, the Dobbs decision two, two and a half years ago, overturning Roe versus Wade, supported by Donald Trump and caused by Donald Trump by placing people on the United States Supreme Court that was to his bidding. Then you've got the selection of J.D. Vance. J.D. Vance went from being a marginally interesting 39-year-old who wrote a book once um, and who claims to be some sort of um, hillbilly. Uh, went. Uh, by the way, I don't know many hillbillies that went to Yale and uh, also were uh, Silicon Valley venture capitalists. But let's leave that aside for a minute. Uh, people were worried about J.D. Vance. He seems to be articulate. He seems to be somebody that can stick it to the Democrats, what they thought was going to be the Joe Biden campaign. And ever since then, it's been a novelty act, uh, a, you know, one trick pony that has uh, broke a leg already. There's no other way to put it. J.D. Vance, whether you look at his cat lady comment you know, um, uh, all the, you know, the the, the uh, childless cat women that he attacked in America, all, all united now, uh, apparently for Kamala Harris. <clears throat> and then he doubled down on it by saying, I didn't mean anything disrespectful about cats uh, and all the other statements and comments about him. And he is a staunch opponent of abortion and reproductive rights for women. There's no other way to put it. And when you look at Trump-Harris, 
I mean, Trump, Vance, you got to look at Vance as a possible president because the chances of Donald Trump making it all the way to the end, you know, statistically are not great. It's hot outside and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality. If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Maid's bed sheets. Using silver infused fabrics inspired by NASA, Miracle Maid sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long, no matter the weather. So you get better sleep every night. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. Stop sleeping on bacteria. Bacteria can clog your pores, causing breakouts and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. Go to trymiracle.com slash legal AF to try Miracle made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code legal AF at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash legalaf and use the code legalaf to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash legalaf to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. So now you've got the editorial board from the New York Post, and here's what they said. This is how they started it. A warning to Donald Trump and J.D. Vance, tread carefully when it comes to women, including Vice President Kamala Harris. All signs point to a tight race. Harris leads by nine points or more with, well, they call them ladies, I mean, women voters. I'll, I'll change that too. In Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. Um, then they talk about... Um, the Roe versus Wade being overturned. And then they say, besides the chance to vote for a woman who feels like a relative newcomer will almost certainly attract female voters who sat out other elections or even some of those who pulled the lever for Trump in 2016 because they couldn't stomach the alternative. All right. Then they go on to say, stop criticizing Kamala Harris and making fun of her name. This is what they say. Maybe Trump should start by quit hurling derogatory nicknames and ad hominem insults at his foes, meaning Kamala. He, they, they then went on to uh, question Vance's um, benefit to being on the ticket. He and his running mate must certainly avoid missteps like the one Vance made when he blasted childless cat ladies who run the country but are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they've made. He also foolishly suggested penalizing women without kids with higher taxes. This is the New York Post, Rupert Murdoch's um, uh, engine. And they, and they say in the article, for real? Vance's comments resurfaced recently and spread like wildfire on social media, drawing backlash from even conservative women. Um, and then they, then they basically lay out the impossible for Donald Trump and J.D. Vance to do over the next... 100 days. Trump and Vance need to reassure women that they take them seriously as a voting bloc and they have no interest in pushing national policy that controls women's decision on family matters. How are they possibly going to do that? I mean, I'd like to have a unicorn in my backyard who, um, you know, craps gold bricks, but that's not happening either. This is not hillbilly alchemy. They're not going to change their basic structure overnight and suddenly appeal to women. I mean, all I read from the New York Post, Rupert Murdoch editorial, is what was that Donald Trump's goose is cooked, and so is J.D. Vance. And J.D. Vance helped cook it, or at least baste it. That's where we're at. The chances of them now suddenly appealing to women against Kamala Harris, who is, by definition, an appealing woman and a, and a president uh, in the making, is, is zero. There is no way they're going to be able to accomplish this. And finally, 
the emperor or Donald Trump has no clothes. And male voters and women voters and voters of all uh, ethnicities and genders are seeing Donald Trump for what he is. And the pick of J.D. Vance is only magnifying the poor judgment and the character flaws and the criminal conduct of Donald Trump. See, that's something they miscalculated. They thought, well, the vice president just to, just needs to do no harm. But this is this is even worse than John McCain's novelty act of picking Sarah Palin, which tanked his career against Obama. See, they panicked and they said, oh, McCain said, I'm old. I need young. I need, you know, whatever from Alaska, this popular governor, whatever, Sarah Palin. And after the convention bump, it went straight downhill after that against Barack Obama. Same thing here. J.D., Kamala Harris is going to eat Donald Trump and J.D. Vance for lunch. They're going to eat, she's going to eat their lunch and take their lunch money from them. And the Murdochs are starting to figure that out. They'll start with the New York Post. They'll move over to the Wall Street Journal, another paper that they own. And then you're going to see this groundswell of campaign as they start to hedge their bets against Donald Trump and lay out an impossible strategy that Donald Trump never could accomplish. It's not even like trying to put a camel through the eye of a needle. It is not accomplishable, and Rupert Murdoch knows it. We're going to keep following what happens in the Kamala Harris campaign and the historic uh, attempts by her to become the first woman president in the United States history. It's hard to believe I have to say those words. And of course, the first woman of color uh, to ever be a president of the United States. Rapidly, rapidly looking like that's going to happen. Here on the Midas Touch Network and on Legal AF every Wednesday and Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, we do a YouTube of Legal AF at the intersection of law and politics. Uh, we do it just like this one. And then I do hot takes like this about every hour right here on the Midas Touch Network. So until my next hot take, until my next Legal AF, this is Michael Popak reporting. Heary, heary, Legal AF Law Breakdown is now in session. Go beyond the headlines and get a deep dive into the important legal concepts you need to know and we discuss every day on Legal AF. Exclusive content you won't find anywhere else, all for the price of a couple of cups of coffee. Join us at patreon.com slash legal AF. That's patreon.com slash legal AF.